in this in this short video I want to talk about modifiers what are modifiers and for this for our purpose right now <clears throat> let's just look at two types of modifiers the uh, the adverbs and the adjectives now these are, are well studied parts of speech if you Google for example what is an adjective you'll get a, a, a lot of information on this that's that's going to hold for the most part so this is something you can you can really trust uh, to conventional knowledge again for the most part uh, the same thing with adverbs. Now, adverbs um, are words that modify or describe verbs. So it's obviously very important that you know how to find the verb to a sentence. And adjectives are words or groups of words, phrases. For our, we'll, we'll look at them as phrases too. That describe or modify or nouns. So you need to know what a noun is. And again, to find the verb, you have to use the time test. To see which word is changing as you make it past tense, present tense, future tense, the, the, the sentence you're working with. And then nouns are going to be objects, subjects, and complements. All right. And you have different types of objects. Indirect objects, direct objects, objects, objects of prepositions. You have different type of complements. Subject, subject, subject complements, object complements. But those are your nouns. Okay. Now there are other things too that we'll get to down the line. For example, gerunds are nouns, but we'll, we'll define that term later. But anything, any word that's describing, that seems to specifically exist to describe a noun, is going to be an adjective for our purposes. We'll label it as such. And any word that seems to exist to describe the verb is going to be an adverb. The, the general term for both of these, adverbs and adjectives, is modifiers. Okay, so let's, let's, let's see why they modify or change the concept. So let's work with car and pen, alright, and let's just say they're nouns for right now. So you have the class of car in general, but what you you know you have blue car, blue, and you have red, and you have green. You get the idea. And you have used cars, you have new cars, um, you have working cars. Went off the line there, but but working, as opposed to broken down cars. So you see cars in general, you can have very many subgroups within those, like the, the subgroup of the red cars. So any word that takes the base concept that makes it a subgroup within the big group is an adjective, or qualifies it, or it modifies it. It changes the concept a little bit, it makes it more specific. It always seems to make it more specific. So you have cars in general, then you go broken down cars. Oh, that's a specific group within cars in general. Broken count broken down red cars oh it's even more it's even smaller subgroup broken down red used cars see small so you can string these adjectives together to get smaller and smaller groups but that's what adjectives are going to do they're going to take a big group and break them down into smaller groups so pen okay expensive you have a group of expensive pens then you have a group of cheap pens then you have a group of ballpoint pens then you have a group of uh, black pens, you know, and red pens and green pens and fountain pens. and you, So that's, that's what the adjective is going to do. And again, you can string these together. The expensive ballpoint black pen. All right, so then you have a very small subgroup, and it goes like that. So adjectives are going to modify or shrink the category, or, or really better to introduce subcategories within a larger category the general category of pens, let's bring in some adjectives to make the small categories appear. All right. Adverbs are going to describe verbs usually in these ways. They're going to tell you when, where, and how, or how the verb was done. How the action of the verb, or the, uh, the, the event of doing the verb, you're bringing the verb about, uh, happened. So, you know, I sing loudly. Okay. Uh, can describe how I sing. Um, and often. Okay. That describes when. These these are adverbs. Usually we go A D V. They're adverbs because they give you descriptive information about the verb in terms of when, where, how it was done. Okay. I run here now. Okay, where, when. Um, we will, um, we will pay later. All right, so um, 
this will tell you when the paying is going to happen. So this is an advert. Now let me make just one quick um, side comment here that I hope it doesn't add confusion, but we really have to do, I have to, in fairness, introduce this concept because prepositional phrases are usually not considered to be adjectives or adverbs in their own right. We should always label them as simply prepositional phrases. But they do always have an adjectival or an adverbial function. They always seem to function as adverbs or adjectives. But we just don't like to label them as such. We, it would be easier for us, and in this I'm following common practice, to just call prepositional phrases prepositional phrases. Although we will recognize that they almost always serve to be at big clumpy adjectives or adverbs. For example, we will pay later in the store. Okay? In the store. That's a prepositional phrase. It tells you where they're going to pay. So it does have an adverbial function. But we don't like to label it as an adverb. We will label it as a prepositional phrase, a PP under there. Uh, so let's remember that. These, in general, give you just some basic guidelines how to find adverbs and adjectives. They should serve our purpose here for this introductory activity that we're doing. And uh, again, if you were to uh, Google this or try to find information on the web, you will find a lot that will help you. Some, uh, some uh, good information. Just be sure that to remember that these things sometimes are very slippery. And what is an adjective now can be a noun later. For example, yesterday. I slept or I slipped yesterday. Okay, that's when. So that describes the slipping, right? So that's an adverb there. But what about this? Yesterday has already passed. Okay, the verb is has passed. Already tells you the when that happened. So ad already is the adverb. Who or what has passed? Yesterday. Yesterday now is the subject of has passed. And as a subject, it's a noun. So, you know, these words get slippery. You always have to look at words in the context of other words. So we try to figure out what a word is in a group, never by itself. And uh, you can get a lot of good information to help you, for the most part, find adverbs and adjectives in a group by Googling it online. So I would recommend that, but also think of these common sense, uh, their purpose.